Hi, my name is Andrew, and this is Kube FM. Kubernetes turned 10 years old last year. What should we expect in the next 10 years? Well, I think it's interesting. I mean, who knows it's, 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 uh, where things are going, but I think the trend that I see is that, and it kind of reminds me, and I'll date myself a bit, of the early days of VMware, where in the early days, um, everybody had a VMware guru when they were deploying these things, and that somebody that really understood it. And then as it grew and became very ubiquitous, um, you couldn't rely on there being that kind of, that kind of skill set everywhere. And I think as Kubernetes grows, it needs to be the management ecosystem needs to come with it, just like it did in the, you know, with a VMware environment where there's a strong uh, uh, management platform with all the pieces being addressed. You know, we, we do part of it, other vendors do part of it. And I think it all needs to be there so someone can say, okay, I can run these things without waking up all night and without having a PhD in Kubernetes. I, I just need to be able to run it reliably, learning from what everybody else has done and the mistakes have been made. And so you know, we try to do our part in that to make sure, yeah, there's resource problems now, hopefully in a few years they're all solved because they're all being automated. And so he moves on to the next problem. And I think that's where it's gonna go is kind of be much more mainstream and not require, again, th th everything to be a science project. Just to, you can just stamp out what works by knowing what's happened in the past.